Face Fitness and Happy New Year. Uh, this is about New Year's resolutions. This is about what you want to do with your exercising and your fitness life. Uh, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions and that's great. Uh, all I want to say is I believe that you should make plans for uh, problems ahead. So uh, things like when you get sick and things uh, you have to take care of the kids or you have to go somewhere and miss some workouts. Plan ahead for these things. These things are challenges and, a lot, and I think it's 67 percent people that start with the New Year's resolution to exercise and change their lifestyle fall off if they become sick or if they miss a few days. Just pick yourself back up off the ground and continue. Uh, I know uh, Matt here has been sick for the last, I guess, week, and he's just started working again. And Matt, uh, how did that go? Yeah, well, I was sick for about like four or five days, caught the cold that was going around. And uh, one thing, it did bum me out that I couldn't work out, but Billy was reassuring me like, hey, look, you're not going to lose that muscle you put on. It, it's actually good that if you, you know, do take a couple days off, especially if you've been working out consistently, like I had for a month and a half. So it, it was able to shock my body and really, uh, I didn't lose uh, my strength or anything. I came back and worked out the same like I did when I was sick, uh, before I got sick, I mean, and it was really good, so. That's it. And see, when, when we start working out, there's gonna be a lot of different things that happen. And like I say, have some vision too, so you can plan ahead. If you're dieting, you wanna lose weight, get rid of the crap that's in the refrigerator, get rid of the chips, get rid of all that stuff. And my, uh, what I would do is, you, when you make goals, make them attainable. Don't have these goals that are just way out, I'm gonna lose 100 pounds in two months. What I tell my clients is the number one goal should be is change your lifestyle, work out when you're supposed to work out, eat good for the rest of your life. All those other goals that you have will all fall into place if you just have the main goal of I'm gonna exercise when I say I'm gonna, and I'm gonna change my lifestyle. And let me tell you something, all those little goals that you want Will come into place. What I want to do with myself this year is continue on my journey, my physical fitness journey that I've been on for almost 40 years. And Matt, what was your uh, goals this year? My, my main goals this year is to really still stay eating clean like I have been, really uh, learning more about my body and, and what I'm able to do. I do want to gain about 30 to 35 pounds by the end of the year to put me at 175 plus. I am 5'10", so I think that would be a good size for my body type. And uh, yeah, just really learning more about the, the foods and, and what I'm eating because I don't just want to work out hard and put a bunch of uh, bad food into my body that's not going to help me get the types of gains that I'm looking for. And Donna did a bench press the other day, a wheel on each side, so that's 90 pounds plus the bar is 45, so that's a 135 pound bench press she did, five reps, five reps. So Donna, I know uh, she's, you're really not concerned about the weights more than putting on some muscle mass. So is that what you want to do this coming year is put a little more muscle mass on, get rid of the body fat? Yes, I'm going to lose more body fat and uh, plus train, uh, weight training, bodybuilding. And I also wanted to point out that throughout my life I've been co cognizant of knowing that it's important to exercise no matter what it is. So if, you, if you're into yoga or anything else, yes. that's good, Absolutely. especially because it helps you to stretch your muscles. And then try some weight building, or, you know, that's really fun. Also, my experience is to know your limitations and, how, and yet push yourself. Also, that walking and breathing is something that take advantage of learning. Because you can fall, especially when you get older, and you don't realize how fast you've turned, and you, you see something, and you, oh, I'm going to go reach for that. Be careful. Do things a little more slower as you get older, and learn your body. And I, I want to wrap it up with saying this, and that's that uh, if you have any questions, you can... Uh, Facebook me the questions, uh, you can call me, you can email me, you can do all of that. Get on our page, learn things. If you have questions, just ask us and, and I'll have the answer for you. And remember, 
it's a challenge. I, I mean, it really is. Things come up in life, and it's hard to it's hard to uh, juggle a bunch of things. You got kids, you got this, you got that, but you want to live longer. You want to have a quality life and a life of quantity, a lot of years. So let's just start it, and and you know what, you could do it. It's it's not like winning the lottery. You have your body, put it, make it into what you want to do. So have a happy New Year's on behalf of all of us. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year. Thank you.